Ha! <sighs> Monarch. Be really pretty if it weren't for that constant sulfuric smell that's kind of ruining the atmosphere here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are going to play Perilon Gorgon. Hello, Felix and Pavati, both with glowing eyes. Uh, I think I might have ejected them with cat DNA while they weren't looking. So, <laughs> I'm here in Fallbrook. We're going to just head back up to the ship shortly. But, um, it's time to get around to the DLCs, and I've had very little to do recently, and there's nothing particularly I want to play at the moment. Barring Pacific Drive, and that didn't go so well. So, yeah, let's just, let's just do the DLCs for Outer Worlds. I'm in the Spacer's Choice Edition, and we're going to see how that works. I've just loaded up one of my regular saves, which was in the normal release version of Outer Worlds. And technically speaking, those saves are not strictly speaking compatible with the Spacer's Choice Edition. Uh, which makes me wonder why I'm using it. Oh, I just, I, I mean, I've still got the regular version installed. Anywho, while we were on our way to Monarch, uh, I've taken a stop and bef before going to Tartarus. This is the, right ahead of the point of no, uh, return. So I'm at level 30. I was at the max last time I played this. I think the level cap has been increased. Uh, we were... On our way to Tartarus, I've taken a detour. We've taken a little stop in Fullbrook to grab some drinks and enjoy the waterfall before moving onwards. Um, well, while we were coming here, someone loaded a bunch of stuff that required some sort of waste management thing. You know what? I'll just show you what they said. Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Okay. From the Halcyon Parcel Service, delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. Hi. A special delivery for Good Alex to know. Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's a lot of... Yeah. Uh, slight problem, though. Mr. Hawthorne's kind of dead, but I'll, I, I'll take it. Um, wh what is it? It's a parcel, sir. Oh, of course, yeah. Forget I asked. <laughs> Forget I asked. I certainly shall. I have an exceedingly short memory. That's I'm good to know. A parcel runner. To your parcel. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. Uh, just won't mention that I'm not Captain Hawthorne. Technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Hazardous waste. What is it? Um. They did what? They dispensed three complimentary spritzes of Anti Clio Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain. Complimentary. Oliver. That's very On nice of you. Of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel related needs. Sure thing. Thank you. So long as there isn't any unseemliness, then I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to look at that later. For now, we're, we're going to get on with our little holiday. So, I mean, obviously, like, I don't trust it. But, you know. No, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's find out. And begin the Peril of Gorgon. Per peril on Gorgon. Peril on Gorgon downloadable content for the Outer Worlds. I like being back in the Outer Worlds. Hello, Pavati. How you doing? You, you, I would keep a few steps away from this box. Uh, nobody knows what's in it. This is from the Halcyon Parcel Service. And inside it is... A, a hand? I don't know what this is, but that's definitely a human sort of forearm and hand. And... Weirdly enough, I'm not that surprised to find that in there. Hawthorne, I'm forgetting this. Something's happened to me. Got mixed Lucky up Montoya. Some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. Okay. There's a whole research. This is for uh, Hawthorne, but he's dead, so it's I ours now. Close to figuring out why. Something dangerous is closer to me. 
Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. That's good to know. Talk to me. That is very good to Take know. The job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. And you lost your arm while making well, that recording. That fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. No, no jobs from Captain. disembodied hands. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, define better. Take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple of cameras and a soundtrack. You're on the team, Felix. Okay. <laughs> First of all, whenever I get to where I'm going, Felix is coming with me. Second of all, Ada, what the hell is going on? Nice of him to share the tip. It's ominous. Well, it is ominous because there's a severed hand attached to it, but, you know. That's not the weirdest thing that's happened. To be honest, severed limbs around here are a dime a dozen. Well, I mean, I'm sold, but I'd like to ask Ada what the hell's going on. And does she know who this guy is? Because he knew Hawthorne and, you know... She used to run the ship under Hawthorne. Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, I think it depends the message on... contains landing Not quite. for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Wilhelmina Ambrose. Um, okay. Uh, who was he, Ada? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. He liked to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. Oh, you knew him as well? He was also of course, Ellie knew him. Freelancer in the system. Fourth? Only the fourth? There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. So maybe his name is actually fairly accurate. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average. <laughs> the pattern of fortunate circumstances. Lucky. You mean luck. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. Thank you, Ada. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. All right, I'm ready. So, we got a guy who lost his arm, sent us a message about a tip from someone from whom we might get money. Who definitely has money, apparently. Uh, and I can pick this up. Uh, should I have it with me? Yeah, why not? Hawthorne, if you're getting this, no, it replays it. To me. I might as well re-listen to it again. Up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. Are you right, Sam? Jobs an itch I can't stop scratching. I think Sam might be There's stuck a here. Research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. Research compound left Something to the Sprats. Dangerous is closer to me. I mean, this galaxy is littered Got with research compounds. Abandoned research compounds. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust Inheritance. Me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. You knew Consider you were dying? Even, old pal. Hawthorne's dead, so it, it, it comes to us basically by default. Um, what do you think about this, Felix? You seemed pretty up on the whole thing. I'm gonna talk to each of my crew members just to find out what their thoughts are. Hello. Good to see you, boss. I might be standing on a chair now. I'm just gonna look down upon you. Uh, I'll talk to you about this business on Gorgon. So we just sat around a table talking about a severed arm. Of all the weird things that happened on this ship, that ranks somewhere in the middle. Yep. Uh, 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 let's put it at number 37. Most interesting things that happened on this ship. Uh, what do you think about this lucky guy? You ever watch The Masked Marketeer? Not with a gun to my head. Felix, you cannot answer my question with another question. Boss, I'm going somewhere with this. Go on. Episode 5 of The Masked Marketeer. First appearance of a recurring villain. Big ol' galoot. Built like one of those industrial class garbage compressors. His name? Tiny. Uh, okay. Get to the point, please. Every adventure serial's gotta have a supporting character with an ironical name. It's a rule of the Genry. Lucky Genry? Mass Marketeer had a massive bruiser named Tiny. 
and we I hope that was intentional. A unfortunate hallhead named Lucky. Coincidence? I think not. You're just obsessed with cereals, though. You might be reading things into things that aren't there. Fine. Um. Maybe you're onto something. This job feels different somehow. Uh, genre, Felix. It's pronounced genre. <laughs> I want to tell him that. But uh, let's just say he seems pretty excited about this job. We're freelancers. We take any job we can get. But this one? The dying message of a stranger. A severed hand delivered in a crate. Let's just say it beats flying around the colony running errands. So, of course, I'm going to be excited. All right, I've got to... Uh, I think it's an interesting lead. We'll see where it goes. You're a master of understatement, boss. Thank you, I try. We'll talk later. Uh, I'm, yeah, I am standing on this chair. <laughs> the way this thing does conversations with other characters. Sam's got himself free. Nice one, Sam. Uh, do you have anything to say about this? I doubt you do. Kinda doesn't matter, because I'm not bringing you with. Scanning for C, two, five, four, seven. Grade rated contaminants. Good work, Sam. I can't talk to him about it. Neoka! I've recruited all of the companions, but all my achievements are going to get re sort of slotted into my Steam account. Some of us like to improve ourselves, Doctor Van Hill. No, I mean keeping those paper books. You what have you... the data pad. Why waste the cargo space? How are you two talking to each other? You're staring at the wall. Uh, I'll talk to Ellie in a second. Neoka, let's get to you. Hey, Drinking, Cap. as per usual. Uh, let's talk about the Gorgon job. What do you think? Sure. Not much, apparently. How are you feeling about it? Right now, I'm feeling like a canid following a trail of treats. Like I'm being misled at best. At worst, walking into a trap. Keep those eyes open, Captain. Uh, Alright, not much, so... Hey, Cap. Mm, yeah, maybe we'll just... Uh... Well, Felix is coming along. Neoka, probably not. Vicar, I kind of don't want to I could spend hours reflecting bring you on the along. Secret workings of the universe. In my original playthrough, I got a little annoyed at the Vicar, personally. But... So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. But what's your take on this whole Gorgon business? Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this... Lucky fellow's message. Why do you say that? I've always felt caution as the best approach when one has delivered a message attached to a severed limb. That is, there is a good point. <laughs> that is actually fair enough. What do you think of what he was saying, though? Well, all we have to go on is that overly dramatic message, but... I think it's safe to say this lucky fellow's upper story is lacking in the grey matter department. It doesn't strike me as a setup, but I still advise caution. Well, I always take your advice, Vicar. So you think we should look into it? Why not? It is what we do, isn't it? That is true. All right, I'll talk to you later. But no, I'm not bringing you along. Ellie! Something fill me in. You seem to know the guy. Uh, so tell me what you think about him. one thing you could say about Lucky Montoya. He was always at the center of a story. I guess this is fitting. Give me the rundown, Ellie. You knew him? Sure. Like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. Fourth, but I out of him, luck alone. I lost hope once. He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up. Yeah, well, yeah, half the course. And the drinks were free, I bet. Exactly. Which is all you cared about? It was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always the center of a room, and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. You think it was all talk? Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Well, thank you. That's nice of you to say. Hey, don't get used to it. I won't. I know what who you are. Mind? Uh, that's enough. I... Oh, any idea what happened to him? From his arm? The decay makes it hard oh yeah, because you're a medical it person. Be a it's been a long time since I played this game. Torn off by something Might be behind with on a few things. Torn off by something with big claws. Torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. It'd be sliced or off in that case, wouldn't it? maybe he just got too it? close to heavy machinery. Let's presume it was sure. foul play. Something on your mind? 
best. It's safer that way. All right. Ellie's high on the list of second companions. What about Pavati? You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I'm sure you could. I wonder sometimes. Uh, what are your thoughts on Gorgon? It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Yeah, I... I don't think much of that, <laughs> to be honest. I think his spirit could be, couldn't be more at rest at the moment than it presently is. Uh, you've poked around the unreliable. Have you found any record of him? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. That sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, I wasn't going to say. Uh, that ain't what I meant. I was Boy, prepared to let that Captain. pass. Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Maybe. Um, how are you feeling about the job right now? It sure is lonely out here on the edge of the colony. Anything could happen. And ain't no one gonna come to help us. Uh, okay. Well, good talk. Alright, I think it's gonna be Ellie and Felix on this one. Uh, and we're gonna head to Wilhelmina Ambrose, who was out near Gorgon. Cool. Ambrose Manor near Gorgon. Or on Gorgon. This is where the peril is. I didn't ask you, Ada. I'm sorry. Welcome back, Captain. I forget Captain that she's Andy technically a companion as well. Uh, no, just mention of the Etherwave drama. Now that she mentioned also, but um, I'm leaving that till I'm doing Murder on Ariadnos or whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Mm-hmm. What kind of AI gives you an uh, mm-hmm as a response? All right, Ellie and Felix. It seems on this occasion. It was going to be Ellie and Pavati, but... Uh, sorry, Felix and Pavati, but uh, Ellie seems more involved in the situation. She might have some base knowledge I need to know. Uh, and Neoka just doesn't seem interested. Vicar, well, he's the vicar, and Sam is Sam, so... Really, it's, it's generally going to be between these four, and these two are kind of out of the equation. Just based on my own, you know, what I prefer. Uh -huh. Hi, drinks the butler. Ooh, that is a big manor. Do not stray from the path. Do not stray from the path. This thing sounds exactly like Max. Oh no, no, no. Hey, somebody You want me to follow there? That was kinda funny. It was a little bit. Kinda sad as well. Um, alright, I'll come down for you. Do you want me to I think there's a lift here we should take. I think the robot meant to take it and failed. Excuse me. Would you stop doing that, Felix? You're right? No, you're not. You're not right at all. I don't think I can get you back up. That'd be the manor. I don't think I can get you up. Should I f alert someone that you've got a, a bot down? A butler bot as well. You might want that back. There's a little room over here. I don't know if there's anything around here. Check the map. Alright, we just got one room. I don't know what that is, if that's a rock or something. One room here, the landing pad, and then a road straight up to the manor. All these suspiciously phallic rock formations. Um. Oh, is that sprats? Rabbit sprats. Hold on. We could. St Are they dangerous? I'm just gonna have a look. Make him regret what the fuck was that? Something hit me with some... Did I get hurt? Yeah. Something exploded. I thought it was my gun doing something. Some sprat hide. I don't think I need this. But I'll take it. I've got... I'm, I'm late in the game, so I've got a lot of weird guns on me. Hello. I can hack into this easy. Music box that I can probably sell some bit cartridges. Take that. It was fairly easy. 
I ranked up my hacking a fair amount. Speaking of which, let's check who I am, by the way. I'm Marcus Ashikaga. This is my character. Uh, 17,000 in the bank. I, I expect to have a higher number than that, but I don't know how much money is worth nowadays because it's been a while. I have low strength, high dexterity, very high intelligence, average perception, high charm, and average temperament. I am a scientist, assistant O class A with science plus one. My skills look like this. My best stat is probably, yeah, persuade at the moment because I've got Felix with and I'm quite high in persuade. I'm also quite good at lockpick. I'm at 120 lockpick with uh, Felix as well, as well as my safe cracker jacket, which by the way looks pretty good on me. Uh, I'm okay at lying, especially with Ellie around. Mm, pretty good at medical with Ellie around. On its base level, my long guns are my best stat, as well as persuade. And then uh, inspiration determination. So I'm, I'm quite high up on the leadership scale of things. So as a general rule, I'm a kind of okay all-rounder and extremely good with the right companions. I think this is actually a pretty good setup, just in terms of... Uh, dialogue and lock picking, but I'm not as good at, at hacking. I think Nioka's the best at that. I can't remember. I'll have to read up on uh, which characters are the best. I think it's. I don't think it's been a year since I've played Outer Worlds, but it has been quite a while. Many months. Uh, I don't know if I should put the robot out of its misery or just send a repair um, bot after it, because I kind of feel bad for the poor thing. Ooh. That one's... Ooh, look at that. Look how phallic that one is. Very phallic. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying phallic now. Uh, is this some kind of zen garden thing? Kind of, but it also sort of looks like, um, you know, sort of... Kind of, there's a planetary thing going on here, and these almost look like they're supposed to be, um... Gravity wells, or hill spheres. That's the word I was trying to remember. Let's put my gun away. Tranquility garden discovered. So, yeah, this is a Zen garden. I must be messing up... Someone must have spent a long time making these ripples, and I'm, I'm probably stepping on them and working... Messing them up. And there's just some bit cartridges here, which I will take. If it's if 31 is a decent haul, then I suppose 17,000 must be alright. There's more here. I should look out for little bits of rubble. Look at this. The slightly square. Okay. Well, that's profitable. We got more things here. Ambrose Manor. Hey, do you think it's haunted? I bet it's haunted. No, I don't think least, it's. There ought to be something worth stealing in there. We can hope. Isn't someone in here? Should we be necessarily stealing everything we come across? Hmm. Saltuna Pond, which is not a pond, but a track with fish. I. Uh, I gotta be honest, fish on tracks seems incongruous. I'm gonna go with incongruous there, but there is stuff over here, so I'm gonna steal that. Some more ammunition. How much ammo have I got? Uh, 3,700 rounds of ammunition, so I've got enough probably to gun down a small army if it becomes necessary. There's another thing over there I'm gonna grab, and then I'll go into the manor. Do, 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 do. What have we got? Oh, easily hackable. Uh, bolt a pistol I don't need. I don't think I'm going to be getting any, like, basic weapons if there are some new stuff that I have I don't recognize. Some armor parts, some weapon parts, sure. Then I'll probably take them, but I've got... What have I given my companions? I'm carrying a shrink ray, a gloop gun, which I remember being quite good. My... Oh, that's probably what created all that energy nonsense in front of me. A pretty decked out rifle and a, uh, I think also decked out hunting rifle. As for my companions, I don't know how to check them. Oh, there we go. Uh, you've got a bolter pistol 2.0. That's actually a slightly better one. That's a 3.0, but, and you've got a vortex mace, but that's, that's also, um, Modified and Felix has got a assault rifle ultra and a toss ball stick because of course he does I, I remember Felix talking a lot about toss ball and uh, That I 
I'm fairly certain in the context of the game, Tossful doesn't have any actual rules. It's just a series of nonsense put together. Putting to be a sport. There's another thing over there. Uh, I should go inside, but I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal stuff. I'm. I'm <laughs> Fine, yeah, I'll take, you know, more modifications is good. If I find new weapons, I'm going to need those mods. I don't think you can take mods off. No, you can, but you needed an upgrade for it, and I don't remember if I have it. Ambrose Manor discovered. 6,000 XP. I don't know if I'm... I'm going to get a few levels in this, but uh, not very many. All right, I think we just go inside. There doesn't seem to be anything around here. Uh, weapons ready. Nothing in that. Why would you have a container there with nothing in it? But okay. Okay, maybe not. Nothing worth stealing. Sad. Like it's been waiting for someone to make a home out of it. Yeah. Do you think anyone still lives here? Well, Wilhelmina's uh, um, icon is just over there. Food stuff's mechanical. I don't think there's anything dangerous here. So I'm gonna put my gun away. Hello. You're a Sam bot. But, um, maybe I should have brought Sam along. He could have talked to you. He seems lonely. That doesn't open. Food service mechanical. You've got a buddy out there, outside, by the way, who's uh, not in a good way. Do you want to go send someone? No. No, you want to go deliver food. Two food service mechanicals. None of, neither of them care about their butler bot. Oh, and they got spacious choice stained glass windows. Very nice. Well, as we all know, it's not the best choice, but it is Spacer's choice. Let's have a look at this. Spacer's choice, you've tried the best, now try the rest. Uh, domestic auto-mechanical routines. So this is the uh, logs for the bots. Recent activity. Uh, okay. Corruption detected in earlier logs. We got O. Ambrose, H. Ambrose, and... Wambros, W Wambros, Wilhelmina, presumably. Uh, dinner time protocol, meal was borst meat. Corruption detected in earlier logs, omitting corrupted entries. This goes up, by the way. Uh, numerals go uh, bottom to top. H Ambrose activated dinner time protocol, meal was triple kale salad. And then O Ambrose activated dinner time protocol at Woolly Loaf. Woolly Loaf, sorry. Then a bunch of routine maintenance logs, and then you go from 31,048, no, sorry, 3,148 to 37,725. When W. Ambrose attempted to log into the system twice, once, and then uh, was locked out of the system, final attempt, locking terminal for five days, and no activity since. As far as the pantry is concerned, all of the Sultuna is st spoiled, and I'm afraid you're going to find it difficult to... Uh, replenishing because I shut down the Saltuna supplier in Edgewater. Uh, woolly cow steak uh, is spoiled, as are the mock apples, but they have got some Boston beans, 13 cans, and some mock apple shake. Well, mock apple shake sounds amazing, but I. Um, I can pick into this, or I can use a kitchen key card, which I don't have, but I, since I can pick into it, I will just. I will. Thank you. I used a lockpick there, but that's okay. I've got 63 of those. So... Not really much worth holding it. Pancake mix. Now that's that's a consumable, and consumables are used primarily with... Hold on, we can look at it here. Uh, with the Adreno. So you press F to use one, it'll heal. And you can add stuff that will give you bonuses. And I never did this. The question is... The problem is there's so much crap in here that I can never, like, sort out what it is. There's some that are actually quite useful. Like this one, for instance. This will last 30 seconds and give me a nicotine high. Uh, recommended by 10 out of 10 medical professionals, which will reduce weapon sway, which I don't have a problem with, particularly. And reduce weapon spread. This is... Also a Nyko pad, and it only lasts for 30 seconds, by the way, so you've got to use it just before you enter a combat sequence. I can never remember how to. The base thing this does is basically heal you. It had 25% over two seconds. The 
Purpleberry Brunch, for instance, would give me increased natural health regeneration if you wanted to boost up your health really quickly. But, you know... Like, all of this lasts a couple of seconds, and none of it feels very useful. And I never felt, felt that I was so overwhelmed, except in very specific circumstances in the base game, by not using those. And I never use them. There is a entrance around the back here. So I might just ignore consumables and not pick them up, because I've only got limited inventory space. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Alright, um... I'm going to go into this hidden section back here. Surprisingly wide hidden section. And not very well hidden, but hey. Because it might take me somewhere. Am I going upstairs? I didn't go upstairs yet. Okay, no door here. But there's a little cubby door here. I had a nightmare about this sort of thing once. Crawling around on my hands and knees inside a mansion, I mean. What, you, what else would I think you mean? Oh, sh hello, Ellie. I they teleport slightly. Okay. God damn it. Um, okay. First of all, let's check for pick up a balls. I don't know where I am. I think I'm... Ooh. Pocket watch. Should I steal this person's jewelry? Maybe I shouldn't until I know who they are. I am just upstairs. Yeah. There's the stairway that leads down. So I've just gone around, across and up there. Uh, this door is still... Well, it doesn't open. It's not still anything. It's just not there. Okay, let's crack this safe if I can. No, I need 150 lock picking. Wow. Well, uh, I need two people here with hacking to do that. It's not like, like it's got much in it. Some money. It's not really worthwhile. Some energy cells. This terminal, however. Dr. Olivia Ambrose. No, I was looking for someone called, uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina? Wilhelmina? Wilhelm? I don't actually know how she pronounced it. It was faster than I'm pronouncing it. So, and, and, and Dr. Olivia Ambrose says, Along with that wilderness of glass, no swellings tell that winds may be upon some far-off happier sea, no heavings hint that winds have been on seas less hideously serene. E-A-P. Menu. Okay. It's prettily worded. Is she a poet? Uh, okay, we've got two users. O and probably Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina is how they pronounced it. Um, start with one. Start with O. Olivia, presumably? Okay, we've got logs. Uh, displaying five entries starting on February 2324 and ending in April 28th, 2348. So it's about 24 years between this. First February 2324. I don't remember what the present day is. I think it's 2350, right? Or is it? No. I don't remember what the present day is, but this is from 2324. This morning, I gave birth to a healthy child. Perhaps that is a strange distinction to call her healthy, but after all I've endured to finally meet her, it matters that she exists at all against the odds. Matters. I will call her Wilhelmina, after my late brother Wilhelm. I hope the law is kinder to her than it was to him. That's a strange thing to say. Uh, I hope for many things, truthfully, that she will be smart and shrewd, that she will be strong, relentless, undeniable. Most of all, I hope for her a steel spine, that she does not bend when Halcyon would break her, that she would be stronger than I. What a, what a knack for the flowery dialogue here, haven't we? Olivia Ambrose and Wilhelmina. So this is the person I'm coming to talk to, and you're her mother. Noted. Uh, March 17th, 2324, so this is about a month and a bit later. Uh, I must find Minnie... Which is Wilhelmina shortened then. Okay, so, so I did remember Minnie, uh, and I didn't put the connection between Wilhelmina and Minnie. Okay, so is it the normal shortening of Minnie? I thought, I, I don't know what I think, I thought Minnie was just a name, but there it is. I must find Minnie a wet nurse. She demands to be fed throughout the day and night, and I simply cannot get a single thing done. The nurse will need to be exceptional, smart, educated, of means. Minnie must have the best start if she's going to survive the pit of vipers that is the Byzantium elite. 
Then there is the matter of a governess. I can't watch the child constantly, not if I'm to do my work. How soon must I begin looking? Naturally, she'll have to be exceptional as well. Uh, and exceptional Byzantines don't exactly grow on trees. I will persuade Harvey, H. Ambrose, her husband, to investigate this for me. The man has little else to do. Okay. So... No, no, nothing necessarily unreasonable if you're trying to get stuff done. It just depends on how distant she was as a parent. Uh, and then it skips to November 22nd, 2329. So, five years later. Um, okay. I don't understand how anyone of ambition has time to keep a journal. I certainly don't, yet here I am, indulging myself. Minnie's influence, no doubt. Her behavior concerns me. She's clingy, emotional. At five, she should be starting to show some personality, not crying for her mother when I leave for another stint on Gorgon. Well, okay, so maybe she was quite distant. This must be the fault of Mary, oh sorry, Marie, her governess, as Minnie certainly didn't learn this behavior from me. I'll have to fire the woman. It's clear she's not capable of instilling Minnie in a correct understanding of how to behave. Harvey despairs of ever finding a governess who meets my quote-unquote preposterous standards. He and I went in circles on the issue for hours, but he came around to my thinking eventually. Why shouldn't I want what's best for my daughter? Maybe I'll fire him too. Your husband? Okay. Well, oh, uh, she seems cold and calculating. Um, this is 2337, sorry, let me check that. 2337, that's eight years after she was five, so she'd be 13 now. Uh, yes, at 13. I'm at my wit's end with Minnie. At 13, she should have already bast um, mastered basic chemistry, physics, and mathematics, but she can barely handle long division. She struggles to remember the simplest equations and formulas, no matter how many times her governess wraps her knuckles. So, um, high expectation parent. Um... Helicopter parent, I believe the term is, isn't it? By the time I was her age, I had already made dynamite in my grandfather's laboratory. The only thing Minnie is making is explode is my head. Her father asks why we don't just send her to boarding school, but I abhor the thought of her being surrounded by those coddled idiots. More alarming still, she's begun to show an interest in romance serials and painting. She may have a strong grasp of colour theory, and she shows, she shows some promise with watercolours, but surely that results, that's the result of her education in spectroscopy, not any innate skill. What value has art, anyway? Oh, lovely person, this one. She gave me a truly dreadful painting of Francis this morning, and I haven't got a clue what to do with it. Perhaps I'll stuff it in my desk. We'll have a good laugh over it when she's grown and finally come to her senses. Right. That's, uh... Oh, I can't- I need Hack90 to see the deleted logs. Oh, I've got to come back with whoever's my hacking skill and have a look at those one day. Uh, April 28, 2348. Hold on. Timing, timing, timing. Uh, 11 years after she was 13, so she's 24 now. I, I should have guessed that because I said there were 24 years between them. Uh, Lucian appeared at the monitor- or the manor, sorry, this morning. I thought him here for me to finally wring my neck after our latest tiff, but it was much worse than that. He'd come here to speak to Minnie. No need to guess why, she's taken it upon herself to manage the household these last few years. Neither her father nor I have time, or frankly inclination. Under her watch, the staff's productivity has increased 35% while reducing our costs an astonishing 67%. We've saved tens of thousands of bits. Harvey tipped Lucian off, I expect. Now he wants her to bring her on to help manage Gorgon facilities, which I refused over Minnie's vociferous protestations. She cried after he'd left. I only wish that I could tell her why. Because you have higher expectations of her? Not the loveliest person I've ever met. I wonder if there's some resentment between Wilhelmina and Olivia. Return to Root and log in as W. Ambrose. This will presumably be Wilhelmina's diary. She's got one log, and I take from these entries that Mother was severe with her editorial pen. This is but one version of her, carefully curated, and not the one I wanted to find. Where is her unvarnished stream of consciousness? Where is her spontaneous brilliance? The search continues. My efforts will inevitably steer me to Gorgon. What then, Minnie? What then? Oh, so maybe not. 
not so much resentment. She maybe rose tinted glasses, or maybe there was some genuine, hard to understand affection between the two of them. She was analytical and scientific, but Minnie doesn't seem to have... Well, maybe she did exactly what her mother expected she'd do and come to her senses when she grew up. Okay, yeah, first. I need to go inside this door, I think. So, I'm going to do everything else first. I'm going to drain I'll take that. Some shampoo. Probably not necessary. And skin cream. I think we'll pass. Um, unless you guys need some. Felix. Uh, apparently they're bought out by Space's Choice. What's with the iconography? And there seem to be two doors to wherever Wilhelmina is. Or is supposed to be. Oh, Jesus. 150 to open. Oh, I need the master bedroom key card. Well, maybe if I find that, I'll let you know. Augmented toughening, I'll take that. And what looks like some random bedroom. Wilhelmina's old bedroom, or... There's a rocking chair there, so it looks like something a child would live in, but not much else. It's been a long time since he was a child, so they yeah, must have moved out most of the furniture. And more... Well, that's not Space's choice. That's... that's well, that kind of looks like the unreliable, but I'm not sure. Let's read this. Goodbye letter. Dearest mother and father, I've paced the halls of this gilded cage long enough. Since you won't permit me to help the family business, I am living to start a business of my own. Am I too young for such ambitions? Perhaps. But that is the risk you take when you fashion a daughter in your image. Byzantium will welcome me with open arms. Won't that be a new sensation? If I ever return, it'll be to claim my rightful spot as head of this family. From Minnie. Inherited her mother's uh, attitude, I would say. I think she's going to be here. If I open this door, there she is. She's talking to me, but I can't hear her. I can read what she's saying, though. Hi, yes, uh, Lucky is not coming. Uh, neither is Hawthorne. I'll be here. Your um, freelancer for this occasion. Uh, do you mind that I've been poking around in your house for the last, like, 20 minutes? Just gonna stand there and look at- I think that's Gorgon. What's up? So who the devil are you? I am Marcus of Chicago, Captain of the Unreliable. You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Indeed. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? No, I That's can only look at you at the moment, but I remember what you're talking about. My burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. I... Um, should I give a solemn or cheerful toast? Or not, and... You want to toast the asteroid? No, I'll, I'll, I'll make a toast. Uh, solemn, how about? I think that sounds right. Because if you call it the bane of your existence, it sounds like solemnity is called for. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. Clink. Shepherd her to the nearest star I sounds fairly decided on the issue of short, how you feel about it. I, yeah, I know you. I've heard your name before. Wow. Now what brings you to my house, Hanson? You're right, Felix. I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> I'm here about a severed arm. Yeah, I'm here about a severed arm. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Which is why I'm, cu I'm curious as to why you're not... More angry at my being here. But, uh... This arm came with a portable phonograph that mentioned you by name. Or should I talk about Lucky Montoya? Uh... I'll refer to the portable phonograph that mentioned you by name, and presumably I can, uh, come back round to Lucky. Really? Huh. Now this severed limb, did it have dark hair? Rugged knuckles? Chewed fingernails? A gunslinger's calluses? I think we know who you're talking about, but, uh... I, I didn't look at it that closely. The next time someone mails you a severed limb, you really 
ought to pay better attention. I, I suppose that would be good advice. Man daring enough to jettison his extremities on my behalf. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. Doing a what? He's definitely not doing that anymore. I could do that. The staring into space part, I mean. I'm still working on the bullet twirling thing. But if something happened How do you him, twirl a bullet? What does that mean? Oh dear. Is that thing I I've seen people do with coins? My former freelancer now? Yeah, what's his arm doing on my ship? Uh, sorry about your loss seems a weird thing to say to someone who calls them their freelancer. Okay, what's his arm doing in your ship? In my ship? I sent Lucky on a dangerous mission to the Gorgon asteroid. Whoever found his remains must have wanted to inform the next of kin. What a time for Which was Hawthorne. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Well... I've got an intelligence pickup here, so I'll probably take that one, but the alternatives are, what were you two doing? Uh, sure got over the bad news fast, and his recordings mentioned a high-stakes job. So let's go with the intelligence, uh, the intelligence pick. You need someone to finish whatever Lucky started. Excellent deduction. I can tell I found the right man for the job. By complete happenstance. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. Not in front of the clients, Ellie. People offering us a job at first glance. Usually they just squint at us all suspicious like, or reach for a pistol. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. I, I don't want to say, but like, for what purposes? Can we just clarify the air here? Because, uh, gorgeous? Uh, how likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? I feel like the dead guy is important to mention here, because this is the job of a man who has been ripped limb from limb, and the likelihood of that happening to me is at least as much as it was happening to Lucky, surely. Uh... I'm not going to flirt with her, because I don't know if I trust her. But, you know, she seems like a quirky, rich trust fund kid, so maybe there's nothing really behind it. Uh, how likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? If we go to the same place, pretty high. Oregon is a treacherous place, and my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts. And you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. All right. My mother, Give it to me. Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. The top scientist in her field. But a little distance based on what I read, though I shouldn't mention that to you, to your face, because I don't want you knowing I was reading your mother's diary. Um, go on, or I'm not surprised Spacer's Choice is one big accident waiting to happen. All right, so this is a Spacer's Choice facility. Still feel like you shouldn't have their logos in your own mansion, but that's okay. And Spacer's Choice would never allow anything uh, bad to happen on their watch. I think we know otherwise at this point, given I did turn against them uh, a long time ago. Let's just say I'm not surprised Spacer's Choice is one big accident waiting to happen. I wish I could say otherwise. I don't. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. This happens Everyone a lot. had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Ah. Spacer's choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Okay, so you want to also, it's not just, like, affection, you also want to clear your family name of stigma. Uh, okay, so... Sounds like she was a corporation's patsy. What did they say about her, specifically? Sounds like she was a corporation patsy to me. My thoughts exactly. 
mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. All right, so I've got to find out what happened to this lady's mum. Uh, okay. Well. Tell me about her, then. I admired mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. So it's also an inferiority complex? time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child. And never forgave me for being one. Naive and irresponsible as I was. Yikes. What did she want, a fully grown lab assistant? <laughs> Sound familiar, Ellie? Yeah. A little bit. Um, I'm gonna poke at Ellie, why not? Trust me, we are nothing alike. Ellie doesn't like the comparison. Spirit. Well, well, charmed. Today is full of surprises. Mother worked herself to the bone. She wanted to make the colony a better place. No matter who or what got sacrificed along the way. She never spared a thought for those of us who cherished her. Who suffered for her idea of progress. So... Did you two ever get along? We got close I feel like once. I'm digging when too far into child, her personal. I enjoyed looking over Mother's shoulder, playing backseat chemist while she peered into a microscope. One day, she told me to leave before I broke something. Then, I got mad and broke something. Typical night in the Ambrose house. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. Doesn't sound like a... Like it was a healthy mother-daughter relationship. Um, okay, so what do you think happened on Gorgon? I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. No, I've Gorgon noticed. Has a dark history. None of the corporations do around here. The project here. fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. Well... Yeah, you haven't mentioned your father at all, and neither did uh, your mother much. Only once, and he was fairly dismissive about him. Uh, so where is your father in all this? Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. Is he I'll dead as well? More than that. The asteroid but she doesn't say he's like dead. Jewel, it doesn't sound like she cares much what... Ends there. Harvey was his name? Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. I need your help, Captain. Felix is gonna love Project that. Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's choice buried the past like a dirty secret. All right. We're practically strangers. Why put your trust in me? You've lost one gunsling already, or uh, are you in justice, revenge, or both? Probably both, or you know, there might be something at the end of this rainbow. But. We're practically strangers. Why put your trust in me? Seriously, I I picked a transmission off a dead guy sent to another dead guy. Why put your trust in me? You followed an uncertain lead all the way to my doorstep. You're curious, resourceful, and perceptive. All the marks of a good private eye. Whatever happened on... All the marks of a good spy as well, by the way. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. That's a bonus to me, by the way. All the I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Okay. If it helps you get some closure, I'll find the journal. No, if it helps me get some money, I'll find the journal. Obvious oh, hang on. No, when I played this game originally, I decided early on that I didn't want to play this character too mercenary. I wanted to try to be a genuine good guy, because when I play RPGs, I almost always pick the mercenary approach. Because it's kind of fun, I like... I like that, but... I'm going to try to remain inside of that role-playing uh, decision, and... Danger and corporate intrigue. I'm kind of cocky, aren't I? So, uh, this sounds like my kind of job. I, I can't remember what my... Enthusiasm. This manor has approach was my own we, and I can feel you breathing new life into the walls. 
When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you Whatever trust. you say, lady. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. Yeah, that's, you know, once again, par for the course. All my weapons are pretty good. I'm, at the, I'm, I'm literally at the end game, so I have the best I'm likely to have, and I've modded up all my base weapons. So, uh, what can I expect to face on Gorgon? I've never understood why, but Gorgon is teeming with marauders. They almost seem drawn to sorrow and misfortune. Then there's the test subjects. Oh, well, they sound like fun. Survived anyway. Ravenous creatures left. Betting there's a few hybrids so down there. Salvage. Uh. And what did you tell Lucky about this job? I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Don't tell someone yeah. you're prone to embellishments when you're trying to convince them to do a job for you. I'm trying to calculate the odds of this gig getting me killed. It's sure to be 100% with that attitude. No, that's not true. Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure he listened to any of my advice. No, he was a bit that dumb. That sounds like Lucky, all right. The man loved to show off. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? I'll try not to, so I'll, the more I hear about this asteroid, the worse it sounds. But I'm going to go past that and just take it as red. Uh, I'll try not to, since it's my life on the line. That's the spirit. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky the people on Gorgon? So if you want to follow, so you said it was evacuated, or is it just the research the facility start. on Gorgon? Sprat Shack. Hope they don't serve real sprats. There's a sprat worse place than the Groundbreaker. Tried it once, and I was sick for a week. I think I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. Looking just forward so to it. Understand each other. Money is no object. Okay, hang on. Let me just write that down. Money, if you no object. That. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across. No, I'm not playing mercenary. This rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? Uh, okay, so what's the catch? Because there's always a catch. I mean, look, if I get the opportunity to negotiate for money, I'll, I'll you know, I'll do it properly. I'll make sure I'm well paid for this. But at a fundamental level, uh, I'm trying not to sound too materialistic. It's just internally I always feel like I should be as materialistic as possible. But what's the catch? Because there's always a catch. catch. No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. I feel like there's more to it Believe than this, me. but... That's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Alright, we can now get to the Gorgon landing uh, platform. Alright. Maybe you don't need to hear this for me, but I am sorry about your mother. I might as well say it. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but thank you. Sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Absolutely. Mother's office in is I'm in including you, by the state. way, in that, but I always trust no one. That isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. It's not theft if she's giving us permission. Nice, hey, Ellie. Boss, what's her policy on getting to know our clients a little better? You think she'd How much better, Felix? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not sure you're the right man for this, Felix, but um, uh, talk to her. You know, you won't know unless you try. Hey, I did it for Pavati. Go and get some, Felix. All right. I can do this. Here goes. Miss Ambrose? Must get awful lonesome up here all by yourself. Good start. What do you do for fun? Because uh, if you're interested, I've got the full set of Terror on Monarch. The last and crashed and burned. My life is more corporate propaganda masquerading as entertainment. You're gonna have more personality than that. Come on, Felix. Uh, I'm not gonna encourage this. Um, I'm just gonna should I just let them talk, or should I say I'd be willing to like, give Felix some time off if you wanted to watch it together. She doesn't want to watch it together. I'm just going to let them talk, actually. You know, I don't involve myself in their communications, but I will allow it. Hmm. I think that came off a bit harsher than I intended. You seem very nice. 
and very pretty. But I'm not ready to invite anyone into this mansion long term, or even short term. Hey, no problem. I figured it was worth a shot at least. That's the spirit, Felix. And that's over. Well, work on that, Felix. It, you know, she might come around eventually. Just there wasn't a, there was no distinct decision one way or the other. But there's some. I think there's some room for you to move forward in that, as long as you're respectful and careful. But at the moment, let's just uh, leave and get out of her hair. Uh, okay, so our job is to track down her mother's journal, which is somewhere in an old research facility, because where else would it be in this game? On the asteroid of Gorgon, which we are near, but not on. I think that's what I'm understanding from that. Okay, Sprat Shack lid. We're heading to a bar. We're heading to a bar. Oh, what was that? I think that might have been an auto safe. Okay. Well, there's obviously more to it, and as soon as someone says, don't trust anyone, I immediately think, I can't trust this person in particular. So, you know, who knows where this is going to go. But... It's time to head to Gorgon proper. I th don't think we're actually on it. It's that glowy thing. Query, are you upside down? No, you are. Drinks the butler. Alright. Let's see where this takes us.